general physical science class or general physical science class students. My name is Sarah and I am a tutor. Um, today, I didn't really have anything specific that I wanted to go over, except for I'm having a really hard time finding the labs. Do you, I don't know if you've had this problem, but, uh, and Emerson, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but I have no idea where to find the lab videos. I thought they were supposed to be on Blackboard. I looked, that is not where they are. But I did do some research earlier and I found a way to find them. It's probably not the way you're supposed to find them, but it works. And as a college student, you know if it works, you might as well use it. Uh, so, mm, sorry. So, uh, as I stated, could not, I'm trying to do lab one. It is, I don't want to say this as a, like, an encouraged procrastination, but I have a lab due tomorrow and I haven't done it yet. I'll be honest. And it's because I haven't had the time really. And I had no idea what I was doing. Still don't really know what I was doing. Okay, so what I did though is I went to Google and I put in higher pressure lab Carl Albert. Which as you can see, it pops up with the stuff where it's like tire pressure monitoring system, modern refrigerator, da 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 da. All of that good stuff. It helps if you actually type Carl Albert instead of whatever I type. It will come up with all of this stuff, images and all kinds of weird stuff. But one of the first things that comes up is this candy thing here. And I don't, I know you guys can't read it very well because I can see the screen that you guys can see. But it says GPS lab, it has a dash, it says Rob Wiley. Click it. This will bring you to Wiley's page, and I'm sure he, your instructors showed you how to get to their pages and all that good stuff, but if you're like me, you didn't remember that, because I don't. I hunted Carl Albert's site. Can, I can't find out where to find the instructions at. So this is what I usually do when I'm having problems. Uh, these are little links to your YouTube videos, as I already said, I know you can't read them because I can see your screen. Uh, it says Tire Pressure Lab 1.1, Tire Pressure Lab 1.2, Tire Pressure Lab 1.3, and Tire Pressure Lab 1.4. So I'll just click on the first one so that I can check them. We're going to. This is instantly going to take you straight to the YouTube thing that he does for the first part of this lab. In this part, he explains how or what the formula is, what you're going to be doing, and I still had problems understanding it completely, so the rest of these are really good. You can use this little arrow in the corner to go back. It's very useful for me, uh, but the rest of these helped me out as well, because in each one of these videos, he has a little thing. Hold on, I'm going to mute this. It is already muted. But he has this little thing where he shows you exactly what you're doing. In this one, he labors, labels each of the tires, and you're going to need to know that. If you look right here, as he's handing out the papers, you can see that they are actually two pieces of regular paper taped together, which I didn't know we were going to have to use. So that came in handy as well. Uh, really, these videos explain everything you need to know about the lab. Uh, I don't know if you're having any other problems with it. You should probably go ask your teacher about it. Other than that, I'm not sure what else about that I can help you with. Though I did bring in my lab papers. Uh, I don't know if you guys have done this or not yet, but if you look at your lab papers, then, um, sorry. If you look at your lab papers, they show you all kinds of neat stuff about it. But they're gonna help you like this. Let me switch this. Oop. It 
has a little table for you to write your stuff in. Calculated the weight, computed weight, and all and that kind of thing. It asks you some questions you have to answer, but after that, you're you're done with the tire pressure thing. If you look at your actual GPS manual, I don't know how to zoom this out. If you look at your GPS manual, you'll notice a table of contents, some background, it tells you what materials you need. It tells you safety precautions and your procedures. Here's where it says watch the four, here, here's where it says watch the four videos under lab one. As I said, that wasn't specific enough for me. I couldn't find them. And then this is where you have all of the rest of your instructions. If you don't understand the instructions as they are written in the book, then there is no problem with going and watching the videos. I found them way more helpful than just reading them off the pages. Remember this plot or this video is for Mr. Emberton's class. Uh, I'm in his Tuesday Thursday at one o'clock. I know that Wiley's class is already on lab three. So that might be a problem for, I'm not sure what you're doing there because I am not there yet. So sorry if I can't help you out with that. I don't really have anything else to go over with for this video. That was pretty much the only thing I wanted to point out because I was having personal problems with it. And so I'm hoping that if anyone else was having problems with it, you're not now. I... I'm going to go ahead and call it quits for this video. So remember, if you need help with any of your subjects, don't feel like you're being a bother and don't feel like you can't ask somebody for help because you can always ask your teachers or an advisor here at the college you trust or a student or a friend you have that might understand it a little better than you do. If any of your subjects you need help in, if you want one-on-one -on -one tutoring, they're in the OC building. I, in room 1318, if I remember correctly. If you don't, that's perfectly fine too. That's what these videos are for to help you, even if you don't, you're not that type of person. Because everyone learns differently and everyone has a different way of viewing things. And that's all. So I'm signing off.